guys welcome back to my channel I know in my last video in the description box I said today was gonna be an eyelash tutorial but I did not get my hands on all of the things that I needed so today instead I'm gonna be doing a get unready with me so you can kind of see how I take my makeup off at the end of the day and how I cleanse my skin to get ready for bed um, and this is pretty much what I've been doing a few of these items I'm using are little samples that I've received recently but they're good size samples so I've been able to use them multiple times and I'm really liking them quite a few I'm definitely thinking about actually purchasing um, so I'm really excited to show you all this if you all enjoy getting unready give this a thumbs up and definitely don't forget to subscribe you can hit that little red button down below and then you'll get notified when I'm posting new videos and I know a lot of people recently have been saying that YouTube has been messed up and that people are getting unsubscribed so just double check that you are subscribed down there and then if you really want to make sure you're getting notifications you can hit the little bell that looks like a little notification um, and that'll definitely send you alerts in your email so you can know when I'm posting a new video. Alrighty, so we will go ahead and get into this and get my makeup off and get ready for bed. Okay, so this is my medicine cabinet. This is where I keep all of my products that I use at night and in the morning to take off my makeup or when I'm getting ready and putting on makeup. But the first thing I'll start with is I'll get a cotton pad and my simple micellar water. And I will douse that cotton pad pretty well. And then I will run that all over my face. I usually do start with my face and taking off my foundation powders, oils on my face and getting all of that off. And then I will move on to my eyes. And this day I did have to use two cotton pads because... Apparently my makeup stayed on very, very, very well. Usually I can do it within one, especially if I've done minimal makeup, but it seems to just come off pretty easily. And here I'm getting my second cotton pad already, and especially for my eye makeup, especially if my mascara is being really stubborn and I was using something a little bit different today, and it was not wanting to come off. And here I'm using my Mario Badescu Cucumber Cleansing Lotion, and I just put a very little bit of that on the cotton pad as well, and run that over my face one last time. That really helps to get any residue off, and it's kind of like an astringent, so it clears out your pores, and I was reading about it, and it says that it is antibacterial, but you can see how much it really got off even after the micellar water. And then I'm going into a Strivectin um, anti-aging advanced wrinkle cream, something like that. I'll make sure I list it down below in the description box. And I always put that on my forehead because I do have one line right across the center of my forehead. And then I kind of put it around my mouth just because, you know, when we drink or talk or laugh, we get those lines around our mouth. And then I'm using my Yes to Blueberries Advanced Eye Cream. And I have been using this for a little while. It's a good size bottle, but I just put that on my ring finger and dab it in on both sides and once I've dabbed it in on the bottom half of my eye I will also put that on my eyelid just because you want to make sure your eyelids are healthy too and then I have the sample of a Juice Beauty um, citrus lotion I will link this down below as well but it smells so wonderful and it really is great and moisturizing and I was feeling incredibly dry this day it just felt like everything I touched I made static. And then I'm going into my Strivectin uh, neck cream and my hands were all moisturized so I couldn't get it open. Um, but this is what I was talking about in my favorites for November. Which I will link that in the cards right here. But you can see me just rolling this on my neck, trying to make those wrinkles go away. And I will roll that down a little bit further too because I've got a couple of lines right where my neck connects to my shoulders, pretty much. And then I'm taking my contacts out, just using my OptiFree, putting that in my contact case. That's the one thing that lives below my sink. Take my contacts out, probably should clean them better, but then I just pop them in the case and don't really worry about it. And then I just put my glasses on, and that's it. And then the final thing I'll do after I've gotten my face and skin all ready is I'll just change into my pajamas and take my hair 
down from its clip or whatever style it was in and just put it up in a ponytail so I can relax the rest of the evening and not really have to worry about it being in my face. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all enjoyed seeing some of the products that I use. I definitely don't have a super crazy skincare routine even though I have been pretty acne prone. I guess I try to do the more minimalist approach as opposed to overdoing it with too many products. And my skin has been pretty good re recently. I've got this one guy on my chin that just refuses to go away, but he will go away eventually. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below some of the products that you all like to use when you're getting unready or getting ready for bed. Um, I'm definitely interested in any anti-wrinkle creams just because I know the sooner I start them the less likely this guy will stay there, the less likely I'll have more. So definitely tell me some of your favorite anti-aging products. And don't forget to subscribe and definitely like this video. And I will see you all next week with my eyelash tutorial for sure. <laughs> Bye.